How's it going, everybody? Um, I'm Oliver. This is Josh, and we're gonna give a Flatland Survival map a shot, I guess. Yeah, that's about it for an intro. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start heading east, I guess, towards the sun. We're in southern hemisphere, so it actually is east. You don't need to clarify. Oh, actually, village right over there. Isn't that lucky? <laughs> oh, awesome. Sheep as well. Punch a few sheep because we'll need to make a bed soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love punching defenseless, defensive, yeah, defenseless creatures. Who doesn't? No. Yeah. Just to clarify, I have done Flatland Survival quite a few times before, just on my own. Josh has never even thought of trying it. So this would be interesting. But I have done a lot of survival by myself, obviously. Oh yes, two blacksmiths already. Yes. Okay. So. The goal of the first part of Flatland Survival, or that's just the way I look at it, is you need to gather a lot of resources so you can build your own little base or, you know, settle a village or whatever you want to do. Either way, the first part is gathering resources from a lot of different villages, and most of that involves looting blacksmiths because they always have cool stuff in their chests. Ah, oh, awesome. Iron, iron helmet, iron boots, three apples, and two gold. Gold's pretty useless, but everything else Ooh. is better. Five iron ingots, iron sword, and three apples. That's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Right, can I have two ingots so I can make a sword as well? Yeah, sure. Awesome. So. One there. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll grab one. Get some wooden stuff as well so we can start to make tools. Yeah. I'm thinking of keeping one of these houses as mine. Dude, we're going to be moving way away from this place. Oh. <laughs> Not always good to stay near the villages, though. There's, there are. You have no idea how many villages there are in this. Like, usually, just going around, you find three a day or something. It's, a, it's quite a lot. Doing sword. Yeah, just getting positioning so I can see, you know, stuff to loot, I guess. Yeah. Like a door. Well, want a door. go around the village. Always collect any wheat that's ripe as well, because with the trading feature, you can actually trade a lot of villages for emeralds. Like a lot of them. Yeah, with wheat. I've, been, I've been collecting wheat. So, yeah. yeah. And then you know how there's also carrots and everything. Don't yeah. use wheat to make bread. Just use carrots, because I haven't found any villages that actually want carrots yet. So you might as well use it for that. Yeah. I'm just tealing um, the doors as well. What? Dude, you don't need doors, come on. Hey, saves us six planks of wood later. We, we will... Trees give you an unlimited supply. You do realise that, right? I, I do know, but it's... I just want to... You, you end up carrying a lot of stuff. It is not worth carrying doors. I'll pick up a bunch of carrots as a food source as well. Sure. How much iron do you have left, actually? Three. I was going to get a pick. Uh, no. Make a bucket. We want a fair bit of lava and a fair bit of wood. Not wood. Yeah, that doesn't really make sense, picking up water with wood. No. What am I talking about? Wood with a bucket. Yeah, I've got a bucket, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get some but we need to pick later because that way we can, you know, get yeah. stuff easier back. Well, we will need to make cobblestone generators. That's, that's yeah, that's what I mean. So we need to make iron is pretty important to try and find. Yeah. Oh come on, slime. Thank you, iron sword. On the plus side is if we do decide to give um, I don't know, if we need slime for anything. <laughs> Yeah, not really at all. <laughs> but we can trade stuff pretty cool. I can get glowstone blocks and stuff. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, Ooh, um, I, I found ones that give you like diamond picks and diamond swords for you know, 10 or 15 even emeralds. Oh, okay. So you want to try and get as many emeralds as you can just by trading wheat or anything mm. else that they have. Also, you know how there's those lamp posts that are just, you know, fences and torches and a bit of wool? 
collect the yep. wool, collect the wool and torches. Okay. Could you repeat yourself? Because I didn't quite hear that. Collect the wool and torches. Okay. Curse decided to glitch out, and apparently that wool block that is right in front of me doesn't exist. Very nice. Yeah, always good. This will have plenty of slime. Yeah, not really needed for much though. I know, but still. I know it's thinking quite a bit into the future, but when we do end up making our own bases, go away slime. Do you want to do one base together or separate bases? Yeah, we'll think about that later when we, you know. I'm thinking separate bases because I I want to be able to rub it in your face how much better mine will be. Oh come I, on! I dude. mean, I want us to have you know a friendly sportsmanship. Conversate, um, competition. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Dude, you no. know mine will be better. Yeah, I don't know about that. You've seen some of my buildings, they're pretty good. Uh, I know, which is why I'm saying mine will be better. Oh. Right. <laughs> and at least we get a lot of experience as well. Alright, we're ready to move on. Um, almost. Just gonna eat some food. Alright, so. so. I think it is. I'm trying to see if it's rising or setting. You ain't gonna take that water. <laughs> it's, it's setting. Okay, so we head this way. Where are you? Oh, oh damn you, slime. I don't like slimes, eh? Yeah. Get used to that. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of them. Dude, where are you? Basically, just get an experience. Just Why? What are you attacking? Why? Being attacked by a slime. Oh my god. Come on, over here. Who cares about the slimes? Just run past them. Alright, back exploring for another village. Mm hmm. I'll just take this wheat with us as well. How much food do you have? Oh, I don't know, like 17 carrots and I've probably got some bread or apples or something as well, but not in my hot bar thingy. Yeah, um, Ooh, in my chicken, hot bar. Chickens, chickens. Oh, and cows, awesome, we can make them. And sheep. Good beds. Alright. Sure, last time I did this, there was like no animals anyway. I decided to do You get sheep, I'll get cows. Yep. Eventually, we should we should probably lead some back, but I guess that's still thinking way in the future, actually. Yeah. Alright. Let's keep going. We want to find another village before it's night time. Yeah, we don't want to have monsters to deal with. No. Because if you die in this, it can be quite a setback to the point where last time I played it, I rage quit as soon as I died. <laughs> it's basically starting fresh. Yeah, unless you actually have a bed down somewhere, even then, because usually you smash the bed at the end of the day. Well, at the, end, at, the, at the morning. What am I talking about today? Yeah, you don't typically go outside at night. Well, you don't. I'm not a wolf like you. Right. Ah, oh, come on, village. This will have plenty of food. Yeah, not that helpful. As long as we got enough to live. How are you going faster than me? I don't know. Does jumping actually make you go faster? No idea. I. That's weird. I think it might. Maybe it does. But it does seem to use up, you know. Oh, yeah, it would use a lot more food, but if you've got no shortage of it, why not? Uh, yeah. Damn it. That is damn, quite it a damn, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. We need, um. We need another village, quite badly. Or we could just, you know. Dig a hole. <laughs> no, dude, do, don't do that. Don't. Yeah, no. Waste you. <laughs> we could just dig a cry, cry pit. <laughs> yes. Do you have enough wool for a bed? Yeah. I have two wool. Do you have four? Um, yeah. Cool. 
so it can actually make a bit I'm just getting these wooden planks. <laughs> like a tiny little speck in the distance now. <laughs> On the plus side is, as long as if we keep moving, mobs shouldn't be too much of a hassle. And as soon as you say that, I see skeletons and zombies and spiders and creepers. Oh, yep, I just saw a zombie. Alright, so and time to stop. <laughs> Because we're not really in a position where we can fend off this sort of stuff yet. So what do you want to do? Just like... Dig a hole. And cry in it? Pretty much. Okay. Because there's three layers of dirt, so... We, we just have a too high house. Sounds good. I'll make a shovel, probably. Oh. Hi, Ola. Stop. I'll start spreading a bit, because we could always use more dirt later. I've got a few torches as well. Oh, I don't. I couldn't find any wells there. Alright, cool. We don't need it to go too much. Pardon? We don't need it to be too far. Nah. No, that, that'll probably do, actually. Yep. I've got light grey wool for you. Cool. Just chuck it at my feet if you can, because I'm already in the crafting table and I can't be what I'm getting at. Nice. So is this basically what you're doing? This you keep moving while yeah. hiding underground at times when if you're tunnel. Oh, off. are you kidding me? You may not rest now. There are monsters nearby. Um. Well, we could. I can't believe I forgot about that. I do that. have a bucket of water with me, so we could just use dirt straight up. Ah. And then. That, that's ah. Okay, that's good. We can actually just dig straight upwards. Yeah. I mean not. Yeah, do blocks. Wow, okay, I am really not thinking straight today. <laughs> yeah. And we, then we can um just use water to get back down in a hurry if we need to. Yeah. That's yeah. It. So you it. want to do that? I think we have a choice. Bag's not. 